All right, Leeway Theatre Mechanicus. He's promoting a new game. Let's check it out. All tasks have been handed out. Wait. <laughs> How relaxed. Just fast travel forehead. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Hello, would you like to play a round of Theatre Mechanicus? Theatre Mechanicus, what's that? Oh, never heard of it? Allow me to introduce it to you then. Theatre Mechanics is kind of a tabletop game invented by yours truly. You see those pieces laid out on the table here? They're all important items in the game of Theatre Mechanicus. It looks pretty complicated. It may seem complicated, but you'll get the hang of it after you play a couple of times. So how about it? Would you like to give it a try? Uh, well, how much does it cost to play? Not at all. It is the lantern ride after all. Besides, I was hoping to collect everyone's initial impressions of the game. Hey man without hair. New game hype. Yeah. So all it costs you to play is a single shower lantern. If you just like to try, bring me a shower lantern and you'll be good to go. Come on, give it a try. I'll even let you play the first round for free and you can keep your shower lantern. Oh good, because I don't have one. Before challenging a stage, you can use a beneficious signals to unlock new mechanicae and upgrade the ones in your possession. Each time a mechanicae is upgraded, it grows in strength. Once a certain level is reached, it can also gain additional effects. The level and type of mechanicae uh, Mechanichi? The Mechanichi, sorry. Available within a stage, depending on how advanced your Mechanichi are in the open world. Yeah, new content, man. We're about to play um, uh, uh, Bloons Genshin style. Or Genshin Bloons, I don't know. Okay. A stage can be challenged by up to two players at any given time. When you enter a co-op session of Theater Mecha Mechanicus, Nah, Mechanicus is staying there. The max constructible Veneficus Mechanici is a collective limit that is shared between all players. Each player still accrues Veneficus points individually. Once the challenge is started, you can spend Veneficus points to build various kinds of Mechanici at designated bases. Earn more point VP by defeating monsters during the stage. Some Mechanici can be rotated to adjust the area covered. Removing Mechanici refunds a portion of their cost. Got to do the Italian finger pinch thing when you say Mechanici. <laughs> You'll bring me this on the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> At the beginning of each stage, and after feeding a set number of monsters, you choose the stage mystic art. Some of them will <laughs> simply strengthen your Mechan... Mechan... <laughs> choose carefully. <laughs> to achieve victory, you must keep defeating monsters to prevent them from escaping. During the stage, characters can either deal damage to opponents or obtain elemental energy. Skillful utilization of environmental and mechanici is the key to completing the challenge. Upon completing a challenge, you'll be rewarded with the Vinificus Sigils for used to empower your mechanici. Okay, <clears throat> when you enter a co op session of Theatre Mechanicus, the max constructible Venificus Mechanici is a collective limit that is shared between all players. Each player still accrues Venificus points individually. Or I could just play by myself. <clears throat> okay, so you have to level up the dudes. And they cost points, but we don't have any points. Oh, wow. Okay. At level 3, increases knockback distance. Ambush greatly. Okay, this is going to be... Oh. <clears throat> Co-op is the way to go. Gross, man. I th it, by the way it sounds, it sounds like everyone gets the points. Um, and you, like you only get, let's say there's 10 towers. If you play by yourself, you've got 10 towers and you get one lot of points to spread between the 10 towers. Whereas if with two people, you would get, let's assume, five towers each. And you both get points. So now you both have the, the same amount of points that one player had for 10 towers. You now have each of them has the same amount of points to spend on five. So you get double the upgrades, right? Hey, lazy bub. So it makes it feel like the... Um, or something, you know, if, it, if it's not double, it feels somewhere in between single and double. Um, 
Solo is totally doable, at least on the level so far. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm going to play but with myself. <laughs> um, I can't upgrade anything because I have no points because I haven't played any. Pan's play. Let's do it. Does it matter who your party is? Okay. Press U to view the stage features. <laughs> they don't. Okay, so we don't do damage. Challenges complete the stage. Wow, okay, so there's lots of points to be gotten. And then you up, I'm guessing the, the idea is after that you upgrade your things. Alright, let's construct something right here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what, it, I can't remember what they do. Let's go with that one. Uh, let's put in a spark. And here, let's construct another spark. And then let's get something here. Let's get uh, a thunder strike. And a spark. I have no points, okay. doesn't actually do damage <laughs> okay where's my points does it say somewhere where my points are they did get fired on so well wow, that spark's got a long range Okay, so we want to have the same sort of interaction as, as get him. Oh, oh! Oh no, they escaped. Alright, wave one to three, complete. <clears throat> um, the effects of Fickle can only be selected once. Select a Mystic Art. I don't know. Confirm. Can I get two? Hmm. Oh, insufficient points. All right, well then, give me the points. All right, so I'm going to want to go... Construct that there. So I could also want to <coughs> save points for, um, the end of round stuff, right? I guess we start. So I can put a buff on them. <clears throat> That way they can at least get overloaded. Which means I don't need to make overload towers.
Ideally, though, get the towers doing all the work and then I don't have to do any is probably better. <clears throat> but maybe in early waves, making spark towers first and then I can give them electricity and heat and... Man, spark towers suck. They miss so much. Oh, let's grab that. What else do we want to get? Um, I can only buy one. Now right, let's put a fire here. I can't upgrade these, can I? No. Okay, so you can only up upgrade them out of combat, I guess. That's fine. I'm not looking to go deep in the waves, I'm just looking to <clears throat> complete the quest for now. That's the wrong tower. Fine. I guess we'll just have to do. Camo got through. <laughs> I could, yeah. BAD incoming. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I saw that. If I triggered the overload, and they, they, the knockback though can be good though, depending on where they get knocked back to. All right, so she's gonna want um, things now, right? Is that, is that it with her? <laughs> Nothing gets past my bow. Alright, so I need to go farm some stuff real quick. <clears throat> I like that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. We'll do that for a little bit. Howling winds and waves as high as houses. <laughs> I need a good mining spot so I can make some lanterns. Where's a really good spot to mine some stuff at? Or can I buy these? The three items to make the um, the lanterns. I've got lots of the first two and none of the last one, the, the one you get from mining. Yes, I know you get the lanterns from crafting. I've been playing through the new content. Um, <clears throat> why do honeybees have sticky hair? That's how they get the lady honeybees. Can you buy these? No. From killing the Geova Shaps. Where are the Geova Shaps? 
Why do honeybees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs? Oh, I get it. Uh, it's not a worth of the dumptish. Pretty bad. Chromo would like that though. You should tell that one to Chromo if he's here. Chromo? Chromo! The rock-like elite enemies. Nah, I'll just go for like mining up some stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a big chunk of mining stuff down here, right? How about it takes guts to be an organ donor? Yeah, okay, that one's that one's reasonable. I haven't heard that one in a very long time. I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of the self-setup puns. Like the one-liners, like the one you just, the, the guts to be an organ donor. Like, they're kind of good because you can throw them into any conversation as long as someone's talking about one of the two things. Would you stop shooting at me? I want to swap to someone that... Um, the two-liner jokes, they're just... Yeah, they're fun jokes, right? Absolutely fun. Huh? Nothing wrong with them. Um, but you can't really put the... I mean, you can, I guess, put them in combat. It's harder to fit them into conversation because someone's got to ask something about bees and you've got to throw it out there. Because when you just open with either of those lines... They're definitely funnier if, if, if people are talking about that topic and you just weave it into natural conversation. But when you're just cold open in a room with it, people are like, are we telling jokes now? Yeah, the blacksmith marking the Mystic Oars is pretty cool. But you can just come out to them. Like, he doesn't have to mark them for him to be there. Although getting him to mark him would mean I don't have to um, accidentally fly over a bunch of healy choils. I've lost my words. Alright, now I'll get out there and um, show us your new shiny sword. Get out of here. Get out of here. I will protect you. Someone needs assistance. I want more. But without actually having to go get it myself. I want to be able to pay someone large amounts of um, Mora and have them just bring it to me. Like some sort of servant. Or shopkeeper, I don't know. Man without hair volunteers. Good. I'm glad you volunteered because there is no pay. You don't even get, you're not even allowed to have the self satisfaction of um, serving pans. Right. Um, and because you've been warned that you don't get to have it, if you do steal the self satisfaction of serving pans, you'll be in prison. This is exact sort of self-deprecating work you've been seeking. Oh, I'm gonna get along just fine. Wait, they're, they're, not, they're, they're fine with lightning damage. Right? Oh, what? 
have some fizz. All right, big swing. There you go. One drop a plow strike? It does. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, let's go make some lanterns. Her um theatre mechanicus needs some um uh, some highly beat boppling tunes um, if she wants to rival monkeys. I should probably read about the towers now, too, hey? To be fair, I probably should have read about the towers at the start, but you know, you know, <laughs> there were people here. I didn't want them to think I was a noob. Would you like to give Theatre Mechanics a go? It's loads of fun. I don't know, do I? Uh, no, not right now. I want to. There were howling winds. I wish you could just do it from the menu without having to come see her. Oh, we. Oh, you can go to challenge at least, I guess. Wait, do you have to go see it? Can I just click go to challenge? Does it tele teleport me? We've only just begun. Requirements, guests from a far... Guess? Reach the guest flock from a far stage of festive fever. Complete the current depths beneath the lanterns. Complete all quests under Lantern Rites Tales 1. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Do I have points? <clears throat> Where, why didn't I get any of these? Was it because it was just the trial game? Attacks opponents in small area of effect with water cannons that deal hydro damage and apply a wet status. It just shows you on the map. Lame. Attack opponents with blazing sparks that explode dealing pyro damage in small AoE. Periodically fires a frost bullet in a straight line. On hit deals cryo damage to opponents. Okay, attacks opponents one time with Thunderstrike deals electro damage. Thunderstrike attacks three opponents at a time. Yeah, figured. Okay, now we have recovery mechanist generates bonus venification points for each opponent defeated in a small area around it. Oh, that's these, right? No, they're sigils. <clears throat> So using one of those gives me more points, which then I can spend at the end of the round. I like how the Animo one is lower than all the others and actually lower than um, uh, like a, uh, a support totem, I guess. Um, I, and I think that's a nod to let you know that Traveler is so bad, uh, he's even worse than you know the support totem. But slightly better than Ambush Mine. Um, okay. It's points to use in the level. Yeah, you can use them at the end of the level as well. That's what you use to buy the buffs. Yeah. That's the, the hammers. You get one at one at the end of each level. And then to make towers again. Uh, and greatly defeats... <coughs> decreases the amount to build. Oh, I'm assuming to build this one. What are these ones? Unlocks after festive fever reaches. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Okay, so... Doesn't actually freeze them. Uh, 
Unless they're watered and ice. It's water and ice to freeze, yeah. Which would then remove the froze buff, the uh, remove their buffs. <clears throat> and then you could put like a a spark and then an electro, I don't know. If you take buffs between the rounds, you will get less sigils at the end of the level. Is that documented? Or data tested? Although you've got to wonder, if using buffs means that you get to further in the game, you could get... Like, if that is true, then you, but using buffs could help you get further. That could give you more. Alright, so I just need to do anything, right? Ooh. Okay, so that's the fairly simple one. Let's do it. Challenge, complete this stage. <clears throat> complete the stage with no more than five. I guess the best thing to do is just play a few and then after you and then start looking at ones. Interact with a non mechanic no fewer than two times. So more than two times? No, two or more times. Why not just say more than once? Interact with the non-mechanicus more than once. Complete the stage with 14 on the field. Alright, so we just... I guess the goal is just to get all of these. And these are once-off bonus, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I was right in front of her. I didn't need to do that anyway. Okay, that's hilarious. I do want to give it a go. Difficulty multiplier. Special mode. Oh, it's locked. They're all locked. Okay. You can get those bonuses every time you play. Ah, okay, well. That's it. Start wave. Let's see how this attacks first before I interfere. differently. Yeah. 
I'm using your box method. <coughs> I don't know if you can claim it. It's kind of seems like something. <laughs> I'm using the Valkyrie method. Mystic art. Give Mr. Gart and see what happens. The recovery tower is super important as well. Right, let's get one here. Um, actually, that's same deal. Let's go. I think they're different. I don't know how I want to do this. Because obviously I want them to die within range of it if I put one down. I want to make sure I'm killing them first. Twitch is hiccuping again. Nah, but Twitch. <laughs> no, there it goes. Right, let's see what happens. about that guy. Uh, I should put one to catch someone. That way, if anyone gets through, I can zap them at the end. On tower, you're useless. You're really bad. Today's no good for going out. Hmm. Did I say that yesterday as well? Right, what else do we want? Let's, let's just go full. Insufficient points. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> you like lightning because they can't miss? <laughs> Okay, lightning can't miss at the back. That's not a bad option then, <laughs> to get the weak ones. Oh wait, I can start it myself. Dude, that one up the front really wanted to hit this guy. <clears throat> yeah, these guys suck up the back. They're super slow though, so that should be fine. Ah, 
maximum number constructed. <coughs> If it's strong damage, though, it's probably good to have it up front just to weed out the slow stuff. <laughs> Frost water start. Not bad. Oh, should use that. Maximum's up. Okay, well. Just get Super Monkey? Some Pyramid? Yeah. Can I actually do that? It feels kind of cheaty if I'm doing this. Heroes can damage shields. That's interesting. Probably want to do that in this circle then. Not that it matters, because I've reached maximum thing anyway. I can't interact with enemies in any way, except dealing damage. I can. Oh, okay, so you just get a whole mess of stuff. It's not like... <clears throat> right, Barbara gun you and then just cheese it. Hey, Boghead. How you doing, man? It's one of the reasons that, like, I just, I don't like that interaction in tower defenses because it feels like, obviously it's balanced around different games, like different games have it balanced differently, but a lot of the ones that have tower, games that have tower defense in their game, uh, if you're strong enough as a player in your thing, you can almost ignore the tower mechanics um, and just be really good with your character. try your hand at theater mechanicus. Later, Boghead. Thanks for dropping in there. Alright, so if I go... I guess also, like most like most RPG style games that have a game in it, it's really clunky to play this. I really liked being in there, but there's like so much menu system muck around. It, you can't just, like, I want to sit down and just play it and play it and play it, but I feel like you just spend so much time out in this part of the world instead of actually in the game. Alright, armory. So this is where I can upgrade my things now, right? Is it is it just better to go through and upgrade them all to base ones, or do you think it's better to pick one and put that up to uh, level three? Yeah. 
So we're level two. I might go level three before going level five. So that way I at least get a something out of it. Yeah, I guess it's probably pretty easy just to cap them out as well, right? Let's see how that is. Can I, how do I change stage? Do I just go here and click a different one? How do you know which one you've selected? No, oh, wait, I've accidentally clicked out. Now I have to talk to her again. Oh, you think it's random. Hey, spiders, how you doing? <clears throat> oh, the difficulty modifier changes the stage. Alright, so one is always the first one. Alright, let's try the second one then. No, I think um, I think Lazy Bum's right, especially more so because he didn't put think on his. He just put a. It's this. Can I not go on that, or can I go on that? I'm gonna try it. Go, Barbara, go. <sighs> I'm fine. Okay, so what's with these towers? <laughs> Do they change which way they go, depending on if the bridge is there or not? Can I turn the bridge off? Is that what that's for? Alright, or I could just plan on killing them in the straight line. Alright, so let's make this a our ice tower. Did the ice tower cost more? And then a water tower? It does, because it's upgraded. Okay. That seems a bit rude. And then let's get a... a fire tower. And hopefully we do okay here. Um, would you like to hit this guy, dude? He's... Come on, fire tower. Whatever. Stupid fire tower. Gotta set it to first. Yeah, and set the other one to strong.
Here we go. That was tough. Pyro, mechanical energy, no. Nah. Well, I mean, that'd be good if you could hit. Does that mean they'll act... Will they just... The elemental mastery is only when they do a combination, right? <laughs> Actual attack would be good. Take that one. Enough, I could. Oh, we have multiple guys coming in now. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I'm gonna want to get better towers. And I was gonna set up this tower like another thing here, but I think I still can. Let's get a. Uh... It's interesting. You have no points, idiot. That's all right. Elemental mastery is the reaction. Yeah. So get a Yeah, the the fire missing sucks. It's strong, but like it's strong when it hits. And then you get that guy get through. Once you get up to enough money at the start, you get rid of that, right? Especially once you've got your max towers. How many more towers? I can have 14. Ideally, I'd want that one and this section to have the most, <coughs> since everything has to run down that. But I'm not too fast. Fire is good for large groups or big enemies? Yeah. Yeah, it was really good against the big enemies. I'm um, in the first run. <coughs> Money. All right. Well, then, skip them. Possibly should have checked out <coughs> what was coming through, but. Hmm. 
Yeah, you know, I think having fire, a couple fires at, at the front <coughs> isn't bad because even for the fast guys, it weeds out the... A lot of them. Although not having a fire here is hurting. Is that going to help? We're having one fire at the back. So we've got good range. Okay, so I'm at max. <clears throat> so I guess now is what I want to get. Bet you can't keep up with me. Power levels do mass amounts of boosted damage. Yeah, that's what I figured. That <clears throat> um, it's one of the the downsides to think you know this sort of mechanic where you're getting a meta level progression, like a in a um, I don't know what the proper roguish term is. I don't think we know anyone knows what the proper roguish term is. But when you get, yeah, meta progression roguelikes, um, like, um, Rogue Legacy, you know, where you, or Undermine was most recently, but probably, you know, where you can just power up your character until you get to a max power. And all the card games we've played, where we just want to have everything unlocked so we can play with the full game and play the game as it's intended. Um... Doing it like this, though, it creates a faux progression where Told you, I'd win. you can get stronger and then do better in the early, in the easy stages. And now that you're stronger, you can move on to the um, the higher levels. You know, and then when you're maxed, you can play at the highest level. But you haven't really progressed. You know what I mean? It's oh, does the bridge turn enemies in the put enemies in the pit oh that's cool that's probably really good at the end as well because like it's only that's 40 like points it. now um i thought it would just make them path differently i didn't think about dropping in the pit thanks lazy bum um Will they just walk into it if it's if it's off as well? I think it's better for um, 
sending back the ones you've um uh, like huh? just dropping yeah. off the one Oops. are these worth one enemy each as well like just for dropping off the ones that are specifically there <clears throat> you might be able to time it with a big enemy right here and someone going to be walking in <laughs> It's like this guy. Oh, there's towers up here. Hmm. Nah, uh, I'm okay with that. It is a really cool um, <clears throat> game inside a game. I think it's something that really suits Genshin Impact as well. Like it, it just it. I've only had two rounds of it. And I just it plays nicely for what it is. It plays more than nicely for what it is, right? Uh, I'll play around uh, eventually. I may start whenever I like. Apparently, I can't. I have to talk to you every time. Let's see how we do at map 3. We are getting some power up, so why not? Did I not pick map 3? I mean, I paid for it now, but I guess I better play. Oh, it is map three? I don't know, it looks like the same map to me. Um One of you there. Let's let's throw right, let's just throw one of you there. Let's go ahead and grab one of these fellas. I did like the fire ones up the front to weed out the slow and the big guys. Whoops. Again, also, I should have probably looked at what wave I was having come up. Oh, get wrecked, idiot. Oh, okay, look at that. So anything coming up... Oh, they will eventually fall off. <clears throat> They're just really slow about it. It turns out maxing out the lightning towers is really strong. It's also giving me kills up front, so maybe put that ring tower... Um... towers, which means I can put another seven here. Or I could put a few up here. I 
feel like I like that huge cluster, and here feels like a like a real pathetic at last line of attack op opportunity. Whereas I think having another cluster up there seems good. That's some big slow guys, but freezing seems to be fine. Points? All right. You have to keep the mini game in. You stop playing because the daily grind was too much of a daily grind. Yeah, I do too because I think it's a nice interaction, and I enjoy the daily grind because, uh, you know, I love a daily grind. I can plan around it. <laughs> so, but I, I do like this. I like tower defense in general. That's why I've, um, I've really been enjoying balloons, and I was looking for other tower defense games, but. I don't really like the other tower defense games. I'm just going to go ahead and drop this idiot because I don't think I can kill him. And for 40 points, why not? Oh, and I think I'll get a... a there's, ba there's points for interacting with that a bunch of times as well, isn't there? Wow, get permit. Idiots. Dolphin Camus! Look, I'm winning the Blight map! I'm wearing the same hat right now. Are you gonna stream wearing the same hat? Do we get to be hat bodies? Man, thank you so much for the 27 months of support. I mean, every it's just a coincidence. Did you know every 27 months of support gets a free plug? Guys, Dolphin Chemist uh, is an amazing streamer. Has a beautiful singing voice and loves his dog. Uh, you can see Dolphin um, affectionately pet Bernie. On a, on a regular basis. So, sorry, you can see Dolphin Chemist's hand regularly pet Bernie. Wait, pet Bernie on a regular basis. Bernie will smile. Dolphin's channel is haunted. If you watch it, you die in seven days. Also, you get some weird stomach issue during that time. <laughs> Dolphin is um, using the fact that language is a living uh, thing. To promote the fact that death means get filled with uh, warmth and happiness uh, and develop strong feelings uh, to some sort of aquatic scientist that you never knew you had before. <clears throat> See, look, man without hair is filled with warmth and happiness and human emotions, alright. In the UK, dolphins are called <sighs> Bucky Wits. Oh, there you go. I feel like... I want to get the points for having the extra towers. So, and I want to put them here. Let's go like a last line of defense freeze off, I think. You can go there. And we'll get two lightning to towers because they're pretty strong and they never miss. And we have enough monies now where we don't need this, right? So we'll get rid of that. We won't construct something straight away. 
because I might want to use the uh, the drop you in the ocean uh, machine. Get him! Get him! I mean, I definitely want to use the drop you in the ocean machine. I just don't know on what. Let's just go now. Because there's points for dropping people in the ocean a bunch of times. I want to... Pans, wait till your flame is charged up. And then melt that idiot. Melt his face off good. Oh, now I can afford another totem. What do we want here? And do I just go for another ice? Or do we go for another zapper? Ice is good, man. Ice strong. Hey, who's pumped for Little Nightmares 2 in a little bit? I think we'll get some balloons in. Cannot confirm. And not too upset if we don't. Because I've played a lot of balloons and I'm loving it. But I don't want to get all, like, ballooned out. You're super stoked. I want to get a decent chunk of time in as well. Um... I feel bad though, I probably should balloons and use that to build up an audience. <clears throat> hey, exploits, how you doing, man? Oh, well, let's get another fearless stage in. Alright, let's stand up here and get ready to, um,. to drop someone. Whoa, look at that big boy. You are getting... Wait, where's my ocean dropper? Uh-oh. Look, look at them. Look at them. They're quick. Look at the quicks. <laughs> well, they almost died. Oh, he's getting frozen. That's awesome. Give me your shields. Oh man. Turns out big dude um, just went and died anyway. Oh, I missed him. Pans, pans derp. I derped it real hard. Is there anything else with the Lantern Festival I haven't done that I want to do? <laughs> Did I do the three chest quest? Yes. I may have had to look up where the chest under the tree was. Because I, I went under the tree, right? And did all the stuff down there and opened the... Uh, I, had a, I had one of the gold keys to open the gold key room. Which was cool because there's lots of loot. Ah, uh, one of the things too. I did mention at the time. I really don't like when... Genshin does it. A lot of games do it. When there's specific enemies get spawned for a quest. And don't drop loot. Alright, so I had to kill a bunch of slimes, and I'm like, oh, at least we're killing lots of slimes, I'll get lots of slime loot. And then I remembered, wait, you don't get loot from quests only enemies. Why not? I still had to kill them, why can't I get slime loot? Am I not good enough for slime loot? You know, what did I do wrong? Oh, let's do another Fearless. Yeah. Da da. Sorry, Barbara, did we interrupt your singing? Um, let's see how big boys here go. I'm, just, I'm wondering if they... I mean, big boys should get frozen better, right? They're, they're freezable? Yeah? No, apparently not. Quickly now, then, if you're not frozable. 
Go, Barbara, go! Are they gonna die? They're gonna die. They're not gonna die, but they only count as three enemies uh, as, a, as a single enemy each, which I think is a failing here on the um, on the dev team because it's like I could just not care that they get through. I just don't care. <laughs> like there's five enemies left. I had more than five. What? Um, I've got more than five lives. Who gives a crap? I guess this is where you drop some towers and put some be better ones up, right? Um. Oh no, we're killing one. Get him! Get him! He's almost dead! Get him! Zap! Oh, did he get th I think he got through. There's the currency you get for the market where you have to perfect stuff. Oh, really? Hmm. I guess then you just do it on the easier level, right? Or you work out. Eventually you work it out. Or you don't work it out. Like you, some fancy pants streamer or YouTuber works it out and then you just copy exactly what they did. When you say current, is it a is it a currency that you can only get by perfect, or is it just bonus currency to the currency you're already grinding? It's a different currency. Okay, yeah. So that's when you just. <clears throat> I don't think I even go for that until um, I've gotten everything leveled up super high, right? So we could do that, like, now. We just go. How, how high does it upgrade to? Oh, I was going to upgrade that. Right, let's see what happens here. See if we can do this. No leaking. What does the thing do there? Go, Barbara, go! Right, do I have go, other towers? Can I go. put towers up here? I can put towers up here, but only <laughs> three of them. be surprised if they all die outside the circle. <laughs> did, that dude, did that dude fall over? Give me more points. Don't 
What should I be aiming for? Do you think two waters up the front and a and a and a and a ice in the middle, or two ices up the front and a water in the middle? Usually you use one of each. Yeah, but... <clears throat> is that good strategy? Or is it just something that kind of works? And considering my fire is not upgraded, I probably don't want to use it. <laughs> Stupid camo dudes. I guess it comes down to the number of things that get here, right? Hey, what's going on here? Let's get some, some other stuff in then. Let's get a cryo here. Let's get some electro here. An electro here. Not enough points. Activate wind current. Okay. I'm guessing it just gushes everyone back. Kind of does something, but it's kind of also not doing something. No, no, it's doing fine. Oh, it's because of the shield. It's when it hits them in the back. And he's like, oh, cool, we got away from that. Zap! <laughs> uh, big stupid idiot. And that would be a really good one if I had some water going in. Opponents near recovery take plus 150% damage. You know what? Why not? Oh, because I want to put another tower up. Yeah, let's just let's just skip. Let's skip. Let's skip. Can't get another one in, so let's just hold. Oh man, okay. Oh, okay, that seemed to go okay. Uh, ice is gone, okay, okay, never mind. Um, now, what I should be doing. 
to get bonus points, I should quickly spend... Actually, I'll put them... Yeah, I should quickly put three of these in, right? Because you get bonus points for having 14 towers. And I only have 12. And these only cost 50. And I won't do anything. But they'll give me bonus um, stuff to upgrade with, with currency at the end of the, the thing. Right, where is it? Complete the stage with at least 14 Mechanichi. So just from placing those last four things that did literally nothing, I got 20, um, 20 things. Now, when do I get my... I didn't see a perfect... Um, Currency there. I was promised a perfect currency. It is loads of fun. I, I agree with you. Hey, Demon Thorn. Welcome back. It's in the armory menu. In the event menu. This one? Oh man, really? Okay. Yeah, the more menu. Is it this one? No. How come I'm not getting any of those as well? What do I need to be doing to get those? All that glitters is still locked. Lantern rights, I've done all of them. Theatre Mechanicus. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, okay. So this is what I should be looking at. Clear a stage at difficulty four or higher with a score of at least 560 points. Clear a stage at difficulty four. Have I not done difficulty four? Clear a stage at difficulty two. I haven't done that yet. Okay. Claim all. Claim all. Okay. So, clear a stage of difficulty 2 while defeating all the monsters. Right. So, nothing else to do in difficulty 1. You didn't even have to perfect difficulty 1, but you do have to dif you do have to perfect difficulty 2. Okay, well, go to challenge. No, don't teleport. I'm standing right in front of her. Back out of the five menus. 